Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a fascinating topic that might change the way you think about money forever. Have you ever wondered how the rich keep getting richer? One of their secret weapons is debt. Yes, you heard that right, debt. But they use it very differently from the way most people do. Stick around as we uncover the secrets of how the wealthy use debt to build and maintain their fortunes. This video is going to be packed with valuable insights, so make sure to watch until the end. First, let's talk about the difference between good debt and bad debt. Most people think of debt as a bad thing, something to avoid at all costs. But not all debt is created equal. Bad debt. This is debt incurred for things that don't generate income or appreciate in value, like credit card debt or car loans. These types of debts can drag you down financially. Good debt. On the other hand, good debt is used to acquire assets that generate income or appreciate over time. Examples include mortgages on rental properties, student loans for higher education, or business loans to expand a profitable company. The rich understand this difference and leverage good debt to build their wealth. One of the most common ways the rich use debt is through real estate investment. Let's break it down. Buying rental properties. Wealthy individuals often take out mortgages to buy rental properties. The rental income not only covers the mortgage payments, but also generates additional cash flow. Over time, the property value appreciates, increasing their wealth. Refinancing. As property values rise, the rich refinance their mortgages to pull out equity, which they can then reinvest in more properties or other ventures. This cycle of buying, renting, and refinancing creates a continuous growth loop. Another way the wealthy use debt is by investing in businesses. Business loans. They take out business loans to start or expand companies. When done right, the profits from the business far exceed the cost of the loan. This allows them to scale their operations and increase their earnings exponentially. Leveraged buyouts. This is a more advanced strategy where investors buy a company using a significant amount of borrowed money. The company's assets and future profits are used as collateral. If the company performs well, the returns can be enormous. Utilizing stock market leverage, the stock market also offers opportunities to use debt. Margin trading involves borrowing money from a broker to purchase more stock than you could with your own funds. While this can be risky, the potential rewards are high if the stocks perform well. Options and futures are financial instruments that allow investors to control large amounts of stock with relatively small amounts of money. The rich use these tools to amplify their gains while managing risk carefully. Tax Advantages Debt can also offer significant tax benefits. Interest Deductions In many cases, the interest paid on loans can be deducted from taxable income. This reduces the overall tax burden and keeps more money in the hands of the wealthy. Depreciation Real estate investors can take advantage of depreciation deductions, which lower their taxable income even though their properties may be increasing in value. And managing risk. While the rich use debt to build wealth, they are also very mindful of managing risk. Diversification. They spread their investments across different asset classes to minimize the impact of any single investment's poor performance. Insurance. They use various forms of insurance to protect their investments and ensure that unexpected events don't derail their financial plans. The power of compound interest. By using debt to acquire income-generating assets, the rich can take advantage of compound interest, where the returns on their investments generate even more returns. This snowball effect accelerates their wealth building process. So there you have it, the secrets of how the rich use debt to stay rich. They understand the difference between good and bad debt, leverage real estate, invest in businesses, utilize stock market strategies, take advantage of tax benefits, manage risk, and harness the power of compound interest. By learning and applying these principles, you too can start to build and grow your wealth. Remember, it's not about how much money you make, but how you manage and grow the money you have. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more insights into financial success. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.